Hello, hello, hi. Now, pinning is the base of hair styling. Now, what you do is you open your grip and you position your grip. And what you have to do, you have to have a very secure base. You need to crisscross your grips. When I do my gripping, it's really important that I go from the middle of my hair grip into the next one. And by doing this, I will get a continuous line. As you can see, I have a continuous line going from the front all the way to the back where my ponytail is. And then what I do, I open my grip and I wind the final tails and then I will just position it right under my base. So now, without opening my grips, all I do is I play with this texture and I position this softness along my base. I'm just going to twist, I'm just going to pinch a little bit of hair creating these very soft loops and then coming to the very very tippy end, I open my grip, wind it around and I position this near my ponytail in my loop. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Three quarter of the eyebrow on either side, I've got a small rectangular section that comes um, in front of the crown, okay? We have set this hair so I've got a nice movement and the rest of the hair has been placed into a high ponytail that is just behind the crown. I'm gonna take my pad, I'm gonna feed the way through, all the way through in the middle part, okay? Then what I'll do is I will feed this going forward again and then feed it back onto itself, <coughs> pulling the little tails out this way. So I've got the little tails here and I've got the front of the hair here. Now all I need to do, just very, 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 very gently, I'm just going to open this ponytail on top of my pad. As you can see I've got a little gap here in the back, I'm not worried about this for now, okay? And then what I do, I still, I pull the front a little bit and then I take a grip and I take a little bit of the pad and a little bit of the scalp and I go right across. Okay? It's really important for strong pinning. You always need to pin across the grain of the hair. So I've got the little tails here that I pull through. I'm going to split this and I'm going to use some of the tails to give me the coverage at the back. And then what I'll do with this, just very gentle back homing, and then I'll just position these on top to give me a little bit of extra softness. So back on a 45 degree angle, kind of covering your party, and then bring this back and add it to your chignon. I really like the way I can have this sweep so I can connect the front with the back. Okay, thank you very much. Right, okay, so what I've done here is this. I've got a small triangular section from a left hand side parting onto kind of almost the middle. Got a little triangle section into a curl, and then the back I have divided into equal parts in a diagonal parting. So what I've done is this. Whoops. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a diagonal. What I need to do, basically, I need to create the same amount of hair on either side, okay? And all I do, I brush the hair back on a diagonal, I split this into two. And now I'll take random pieces from the outside of this section and I'll bring them across to the opposite side. So I'm just doing a two strand braid. So when I come to the end, I'm just gonna place a little tiny elastic. So I've got a braid going across this way. Okay, so it's a two strand braid. As you can see, it's quite messy. I don't care. And I'm gonna overlap this section with the other one. Here we go. We've got the two braids crossing on a 45 degree angle at the back. Okay. So, I've got my two parallel pinning bases here on the side. I'm just going to just very simply pinch a bit of softness on this braid. I want a slightly more disheveled look on this, so in order to achieve that, just kind of pinch a bit of softness there. If bits fall out, doesn't matter. The hair has been prepared, so it's going to respond really well. I've got my little tails here. I'm going to fold this under and I'm gonna go right on top of my base here, okay? So, I don't open because I've got a base, all I do is I hook on my sides here, on either side, 
If you pin correctly, you really need very few grips. When you start using more than 10, 20, 30 grips, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> Just give it like a little sweep here, a little soft fringe. It's got a lovely fringe here, which I really, really like. I think it goes really nicely with this. And then I just drape this going across. So we have this lovely sweep, just very soft. You know, it's not complicated. I really like this kind of softness. This kind of hairstyle is really nice. When you have texture, it's always really nice to accessorize with flowers. I think it's always a really nice idea. All right, so thank you very much. Thank you.